HD. You're watching K Gun 9 on your side. News at 9. Hello, I'm Whitney Clark, and thank you for joining us tonight at 9. A terrible crash in Tucson's Midtown left a pregnant woman dead and two other people dead as well. The driver is hospitalized in critical condition. It happened at about 2 a.m. near the intersection of 6th Street and Country Club. The driver lost control on a curve and hit a palm tree. Kega 9 on your side's Craig Smith has the story. This palm tree barely shows the mark of the collision, but if you look at the base, you see evidence of the mark the collision left on the hearts of the people left behind. Police say they are looking into speed as a factor in this incident. Alcohol appears to be involved, is how police put it. Whatever the cause, the wreck here left three adults dead and a driver in critical condition. The car was a two-ton Lincoln Town car, but the impact was severe enough to cause damage like this. The driver survived, but a man and a woman died at the scene. Another woman died at Banner University Medical Center. She was expecting a baby. The car was headed east on 6th Street. The driver lost control as he approached the curve leaning towards Country Club. Even not seeing it, um, just hearing it, t terrified me. Michael Woodward was up working late. Once he did see the wreck, he thought even experienced first responders seemed upset by the scene. Clearly, and I mean, they were giving uh, CPR to someone as they were putting them into the ambulance and had to stop for a minute and kept doing the CPR before they loaded them and were still doing it as the ambulance drove away. And I had a feeling it didn't look good for that person. I suspect that's one of the people that died. It was one of the most horrific accidents, uh, aftermaths of an accident I've ever seen. Bob Krebs lives by the accident scene. He says he does not see many accidents there, but understands drivers need to respect that curve and hold to the 30 mile per hour speed limit. Now, the Tucson Department of Transportation says this intersection really does not stand out as a spot where there have been a lot of accidents, especially a lot of accidents related to this curve. But late this afternoon, a prominent Tucson defense attorney stopped by this location and reminded us of a case of about four years.